Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm Matt. And we are in our new game room. Yeah, I guess it's a game room. It's not really done, but this little area is kind of yeah. close I mean, enough. It's gonna have more shelves and we're not gonna show you anything just yet, I guess. Yeah. yeah. We'll do like a room tour later. Yeah. So we haven't done this in a couple weeks. We've kind of done like really quick, a couple garage sales here and there and like stopping at some thrift stores. And then yesterday we went to the flea market. So it's kind of like a couple weeks worth of stuff. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff we just didn't do. So, yeah. We've but, been busy with this the whole thing. Yeah, so. we've been really busy working on the room and stuff. A couple weeks ago, um, we went to some garage sales that were like a, a whole street that was doing a whole bunch of yard sales. Some of the stuff I got is not games. I got some sewing patterns for 10 cents each. <laughs> I got this super cool dress with parrots on it. What do you think? It's pretty cool. It's cool, right? Two necklaces. Necklace I. Yes. The plural of necklace. Nice. I got this Rainforest Cafe picture frame. How much did you pay for it? Uh, 50 cents. That is a score. That's probably yeah. like 20 bucks if you want I to. mean, at least 10. Yeah. yeah. I love Rainforest Cafe, like, way more than any grown adult should. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would agree. <laughs> it's like my favorite place. I love it. So I was very excited about that. I got a couple of games at this one garage sale and at this whole street of garage sales. All the people who had games kept telling us somebody stopped here a few minutes ago and got most of our games and so we were mad about that. Grand Theft Auto 2 and the case is all broken and oh, it's GTA 2. GTA 2. The, the OG GTA. Bust and Move 2 Arcade Edition and it has really like gross cover. You see that? Fair 90s. Yeah, super 90s. Uh, this is just a case only for Jet Moto 2 and I don't know. But the guy gave me all three of these for one dollar, so. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Whatever. I took the case just in case we find a disc and the case is broken but we'll have the manual and we can put in a new case, so yeah. whatever. 33 cents a game, can't complain. Yeah. This is from like a little boy and he was selling all his games. Midway Arcade Treasures. 20 like, classic games. I'll, I'll do the highlights, the greatest the hits. You got Joust and Joust 2, Marble Madness, Smash TV, Robotron, aw yeah, Rampart, these are some good games in here. Rampage, Spy Hunter, Paperboy, Defenders, lots of good ones in there. Gauntlet, isn't that supposed to be good? Mm -hmm. Oh, Joust. Yeah. You just said that. I did. <laughs> the one with the ostriches. Yeah. I used to play a like, knockoff of that, mm. and I didn't know that's what it was for the longest time. So then last weekend, I went to the flea market just really quick. I didn't have much time. No. This one guy had some Genesis games, and I didn't know about really either of these, but he wanted $6 altogether. I offered him five, and he took it, so I thought, well, we'll try them, because this one had a really cute cover. Tinhead? It's called Tinhead. And then Streets of Rage 2. Beat em up, classic. It's got good music, is my understanding. So it was a good deal. Yeah. Uh, a friend at work actually uh, knew that I was collecting games and um, he gave me Secret of Evermore for the Super Nintendo. So I'll probably be doing a review of this a couple, uh, like two decades late. But um, <laughs> I try to stay up on current events, but sometimes you get behind. I, I won't say his name, just for the case of anonymity, but he knows who he is and thanks very much. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to play this. I got a Wii U on eBay. I got it for two twelve, dollars counting shipping, and it's the white um, AK-1. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's all that is up. the Wii U right there, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. And it came with uh, Nintendo Land uh, sealed. Uh, a Wiimote and classic a classic controller. controller. Like the original classic controller, mm -hmm. not the Pro one. It's been working fine. There's no real issues with it or anything. And uh, I just transferred all the uh, Wii games and everything over, so I made a video for that and we'll upload that at some point. I got mm -hmm. Monster Hunter 3, not online or anything. It was a retail purchase. Right. So then we stopped by a few thrift stores, Goodwill, and stuff like that over the last couple weeks. First time we went into Goodwill. Got lucky. Not the first time, but yeah. We usually we don't find anything at our Goodwill and um, this time they had a few games. It's sealed, it's Soviet Strike for the PlayStation 1. I think I played a version of this or uh, kind of an equivalent of the um, isometric view 
kind of helicopter shooter on the Super NES, and it may have been Soviet Strike, um, so I'm kind of excited to play it in 3D. But and it was 225. Yeah, I really like those kinds of games. And then we got a few Genesis games, um, this Mickey Mania, and this one was kind of expensive. This was five dollars, so it better be good. Mortal Kombat for two dollars. A classic. Yeah. Yes. The blood. I don't know anything about it. It's the, the one with the blood. And then we got an NBA Jam box with Jurassic Park in it. <laughs> yeah. I was probably more excited about Jurassic Park. I don't know. Yeah, this... It I might mean, suck. I mean, it's interesting. It's a game made by Sega. Sega! And... I just like that back in the day the movie licensing agreements weren't across the board, so you got... So they were all different games. Yeah, you got a different game on Genesis than you did on the Super Nintendo, and some were better on ones and mm -hmm. worse on the others, so... Yeah. It's kind of cool, especially when you go back and you start getting all these old games, and you kind of never know what you're going to get with that stuff. This is another one we got at Goodwill, and it's Fable for the Xbox. Actually, it's pronounced Fable. Fable. Oh, Fable. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Yeah. It was actually, we uh, it was three twenty five, and we went to buy it, and they said that all the blue stickers were half off, so it was like a dollar something. Yep. Yep. So that was a really good deal, because that's a good game, right? Yeah, it's it's uh, first of its kind in some ways. It's probably the best fable, I, I think people would say. We went to another thrift stop shop. Thrift shop? Yeah. In a near neighboring town. This caught my eye, and it is for the Dreamcast. I could tell by the memory card slots in the back. It's a light gun for the Dreamcast, so. Um, I thought it's a peripheral and it would be cool to have and possibly mm -hmm. sell and so I was like I'll just grab it because imagine these like for Dreamcast these would be hard to come by um, or this kind of stuff would get harder and harder to get. Oh yeah, so oh, it breaks. I mean we don't know if it works but. Yeah, well these are pretty solid stuff. We didn't have a Dreamcast. No, we didn't have a Dreamcast so that sort so. of set into stone the fate of uh, what, <laughs> what was going to happen next. Um, yeah. yeah, we went to the flea market yesterday. So how much this was like? This was five. Five dollars. Yeah. I'm wanting to get multi-taps for like every console. Any multi-tap that exists for the PlayStation, um, Super Nintendo and all that stuff. Basically to be able to play Bomberman on like every version of every <laughs> console that ever came out that can do four player. So I got the PlayStation 2 multi-tap and it, it's pretty cool. It actually can do the memory cards for every single controller slot. I think that's overkill, um, but I guess if you, if you kind of wanted to use this just to hold all your your memory cards and never have to load more than one, you could do that. And it's got some gangsta writing on it. <laughs> and then we saw a guy selling some Wii games, and I picked up for $5 each, No More Heroes and Mad World. Um, so these are two games that I know were decent and sort of odd odd ones out there. I think they'll just be fun to play and nice mm -hmm. to have. Our normal flea market is like 30 minutes away and then we decided to go to another one that's like another 30 minutes away. And it, We it, only got one thing. Yeah, um, they have a couple vendors there that are cool, or resellers, they have, they're all storage units. Yeah. And the resellers, the good resellers are in these storage units and... So it's like they have little stores set up. Yeah, and then there's people who sell in tents uh, further away and all their stuff is weathered and pretty bad and Frankly, um, pretty super sun bleached. Well, yeah, and very high priced um, yeah. for what they are. I, I don't understand it, but um, they, like the guy with a copy of Bubble Bobble for the NES for thirty four dollars. Is it? that what he said? Yeah, it's just a game, he, no case, yeah. no nothing. I asked him about some other Super Nintendo games he had, and then he told me them. And then he, put, I all heard him say about Bubble Bobble was that. Oh, this one's so expensive. Yeah, it's and, uh, 600 he, bucks on eBay yeah, with the case. Or he with said the, because he saw a sealed one on eBay for $600, he figured it was worth so much right. and had to charge $30. And you looked it up, and it. the one he was referring to was uh, graded. It was a professionally graded yeah. version. It goes for like 10 maybe yeah. 15 or something. But um, but I already had it, and I kept yeah. telling him that, and he kept talking about it. I've, I've wanted to get a Dreamcast, and so... Um, I actually, there was a reseller there who had one out, and it was in really good shape, and it's very, very clean. It's Super not Super clean. Yeah, it's not yellowed or anything at all, um, and so it's in very good shape. Um, and he was wanting 
45 for it. We only had $42, or so we thought. We only had 32 really. Uh, and so we went to the car to go get more money, and the battery was dead, and it was awful. It was, it was just awful. A, it was a big ordeal. Anyways, yeah. um, came back and um, gave him the money for it. Before that, he had mentioned that it was going to come with um, two controllers, so there's a generic one, along with a real controller or the original uh, controller, a rumble pack, and then a four meg memory card. And it came with the box. Oh, it came in box too. Which is on the shelf that you can't see. Yes. In the camera. Indeed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, boxed so, and yeah. the whole shebang and all the cords and power and all that stuff. Um, don't have any Dreamcast games, but I yep. did put a CD in it to test the CD and it works. So I'm excited to get, start getting Dreamcast games. Yeah, we keep doing that. We keep buying consoles and then having no games for them. That's how it starts. So that's all the stuff we've gotten lately. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. I got Penny. this really cool dress with Penny! Stop barking!